In a quote, once you've entered the required header info, it's time to enter part information. There are two approaches to this. One, you can enter part info into the fields here at the bottom of the screen. This is kind of the quick add option, where you first enter basic part info, then fill in the details afterwards. Two, or you can click add line. With this option, you can enter all of your info right away. Start typing your part number here. CTEC gives you a drop down menu from which you can choose the right part. What part number does your customer assign this part? Enter that here. If you want CTEC to auto populate a work start date, leave the work start date field blank and go on to the ship date field. What day does your customer expect to receive the part at their warehouse? Enter that date here. Enter the quantity. Make sure the unit cost and unit resale are set the way you want them. If you want more information about costing and pricing, click the I icon next to unit cost or unit resale. Enter the lead time, in number of days. Choose the transaction code. There are three options. You can choose to designate this as either a charge, build, or stock order. There is more detailed information about transaction codes in a separate tutorial. Click OK. If you wanted to submit this part and then immediately add another part to the quote in the same way, you could click OK and add. Let's add this next line by filling in the basic fields here, rather than clicking the Add Line button, and then adding in more details afterwards. Start typing in the part number and CTEC will give you a list of options to choose from. Once you have entered your info, click Add. To fill in more details about this line, click the pencil icon here, at the right side of the line. Fill in the additional info you want to enter and then, once you're done, click OK. If you need to delete a line on your order, there is a two-step process involved. First, click the red X at the right-hand side of the line. The background will turn red. Then click the orange delete button. Now you know how to add a line or multiple lines to a quote.